So we saw in the video, in the previous video, that a relation is very similar to a function. It just doesn't have the same restrictions. So now we're going to talk about uh, some relations using the power set, as you should recall from the previous module. Okay, so just a reminder, the power set of A is the set of all subsets of A. So in this case, if A is equal to A, B, and C, the set a, the set, contains the elements A, B, and C, then the power set of A would equal the empty set, because again, remember, the empty set is a subset of all sets. We proved that in the past module. And we would have the set containing A, set containing B, the set containing C, set containing a and B, the set containing A and C, the set containing B and C, and finally the set containing all three of them, A, B, and C. All right, so this is the power set of A, and we're going to talk about some relations using this power set. Okay, so here's some new notation. Um, I'm going to define the relation. I'm going to call this relation J, just like we might call a function F. Here, this relation is called J. Um, I'm going to define it on the power set. What does that mean? That means that the domain of my relation is the power set of A and the codomain. is the power set of A, right? So um, I might, I'm defining the relation on the power set of A. So the way we read this is, notice these are capital letters, X and Y, the sets X and Y are elements of the power set of A, right? Because we represent sets with capital letters. So capital X and capital Y are elements of the power sets of A. And I'm going to say that x, so these are both part of the domain. x and y are part of the domain. Um, I'm going to say x is related to y via relationship j if and only if, if the sets x and y intersection is not empty. Whew. So it's a lot to say. So again, x is related to y if and only if x intersect y is not empty. So let's take a look down here. In all of these sets are elements of the power set, right? So I think I said x and y are both in the domain. That was incorrect. Looking at this relation here, this x is in the is the domain, or is in the domain, and y here is in the codomain. And right, um, both of them, the domain and the codomain, are the power set. But that's sort of just like you say a function. We'd say f of x equals y, and this is from the domain. And this is from the codomain. Here, the same thing with relation. The syntax is different. I'm going to say x is related via j to y. And again, this is the domain, and this is the codomain. OK, so let's take a look at this these questions. So is A related to C, or is the set containing A related to the set containing C via relation J? Well, um, does A intersect C? Uh, is it not equal to the empty set? Nope, it equals the empty set. So these, these are not related. Okay, 
How about this next one? Well, these both have a B, so it turns out these are related. Yes. And the justification is that AB is related to BC. Mm, let me undo this. If we intersect with BC, the result is B, which is not equal to the empty set. And that's our rule, is that these two sets are going to be related if their intersection is not empty. Okay, let's do this last one. Um, is the intersection between these sets empty or non empty? It should be non empty. So these are related because AB intersect ABC is A comma B, which again is not empty. So these sets are related and these sets are related, but these sets are not related based on this relationship J. Okay, so we kind of covered this in the previous slide, but the domain of the relation is the power set, and the codomain of the relation is the power set, right? And this part right here is an element of the domain. And y is an element of the codomain, which in this example, they both happen to be the power set of A. Okay, so we're familiar with seeing arrow diagrams for functions. And similarly, um, when we first talked about relations, we used arrow diagrams. So here are uh, two, we're gonna do an arrow diagram for this rela relation. Now, we, a is defined, and we're told that the relation is defined on the power set, so that means the domain over here, so we're going to call this as the domain, and the codomain are both the power set of A. So let's do a, an illustration. Is the empty set related to anything? Uh, no, because the empty set intersect any other set is still is going to be empty, so it doesn't work. But this set A, containing A, is related to the set containing A, because we intersect those two, we get A. Similarly, A is related to that set down there. That set down there. And that's set down there. Because remember, relations, a single element, can relate to many others, unlike a function. Okay, and then we get to B. You're going to see that this is going to become pretty messy if we were going to do the whole thing. It actually becomes a little ridiculous. And I'm going to stop here, and if we move to the next slide, you can see here's an illustration where all the arrows are added. So this is the arrow diagram for the relation J.